third time's a charm. Brock Lesnar and Roman Reigns are going to WrestleMania. Dub Nation, what it is, how you be? It's your boy Tommy on the spot for Watch Along Wrestling. Hopefully everyone is doing well and staying safe. It is great to be with you guys here today on a beautiful, look at the sun is shining, it is a beautiful Tuesday morning here, post-Raw, post-Royal Rumble. Things are heating up here on the road to WrestleMania and already, we're about 60 days away from the big show, over two months away from uh, both nights of WrestleMania kicking off on April the 2nd, but... We already have our main event for WrestleMania. We're going to get into it. If it's your first time visiting the channel, of course, make sure you leave a big thumbs up and subscribe to Watch Along Wrestling. If you're back and strapped in for everything Road to WrestleMania and everything that we have planned here on the channel, thank you so much. All right, so we have gotten our main event. Obviously, Brock Lesnar won the Royal Rumble. We didn't get a chance to talk about that. Honestly, I uh, watched the show, ended a little late, and then Sunday we were out and about, so I wasn't able to chat with you guys about the Royal Rumble. I think it's getting a little bit of a bad rep. I think that, uh, I, I almost feel like right now, spoilers are such a big deal that it's almost tough when it comes to wrestling. It, it, spoilers happen so quick. Uh, the sports betting odds are out there, so like these things are completely ruined, and, and people just throw this out there on Twitter. There are people who throw out, oh, a sports, betting, sports betting odds say that Brock Lesnar is going to win the Rumble. Sports betting odds say that Ronda Rousey is going to win the Rumble. So I do my best to kind of avoid these types of things because I think they completely ruin the show, and then everyone says, ah, oh, it was completely predictable. Now, granted, I will say this. When Roman Reigns cost Brock Lesnar the title, I thought immediately, okay, Brock Lesnar is going to jump in there. Brock Lesnar is going to win the Royal Rumble, and he'll be the number 30 entry. Um, but that being said, I think that a lot of people also think this stuff is predictable because they know all of the spoilers that are out there. So I think that if you go out of your way to try to avoid a lot of these spoilers, you'll enjoy the show a lot more. For example, I loved the Women's Royal Rumble. I think there's certainly some things they could have done a little bit better. I would have liked to see a little more NXT representation, so to speak. But I love that. I thought it was great. And I'm excited for Friday to see where Ronda Rousey chooses for her WrestleMania opponent. But that's neither here nor there because last night on Raw, they did announce that it will be Brock Lesnar going one-on-one -on -one with Roman Reigns. Obviously, who are we kidding? They didn't decide to drag this out. They didn't have Roman Reigns go down. Brock Lesnar, rather, go down to NXT and think about maybe challenging Braun Breaker at WrestleMania like they did with Edge last year uh, with Finn Balor, which I thought would have been interesting and kind of fun. But, uh, you know, I think it was a kind of a situation where who are, we, who are we kidding here? Everyone knew he'd be going after Roman Reigns. The wrinkle here is that this time around is uh, that Brock Lesnar is also in the Elimination Chamber. They announced last night that Bobby Lashley will be defending his championship against uh, Brock Lesnar, Austin Theory, Matt Riddle, I guess Riddle, just uh, so solely Riddle, if you will, AJ Styles, Seth Rollins, and that match is going to be for the WWE Championship and uh, should be a very good match. I think that match is going to be great. Uh, and But with Brock Lesnar now in the chamber, his first chamber, of course the question comes up, will he be winning the championship and will he be taking that in a match against Roman Reigns and make this a unification match, so to speak, and make it for both belts on the line? I personally hope that does not happen. I just don't see a purpose in that. Uh, I don't think they'll be combining the belts. I think there's two very distinctive shows. So I don't think Brock will win. I don't expect this match to be title for title. Uh, with that being said, is it possible? Sure, it's possible. So, I mean, if they want to make that a bigger match. Uh, but with that being said, uh, Brock Lesnar, Roman Reigns, the third time they're going to be facing off against each other. The first time ever WWE has brought back a main event for the third time. I know they've done um, uh, three different times where Triple H has faced The Undertaker. Uh, none of their matches, ironically enough, have been the main event of the show. Um, they've done three times where Austin has faced The Rock. Two of their three encounters have been for the championship and for the main event, uh, but their third encounter was not the main event of that show. It ended up being Austin's last match, uh, but it was not the main event of the show. So this is the first time they're going to have three times where they'll have Brock Lesnar versus Roman Reigns. Obviously, they had their first match at WrestleMania 31, an absolute banger of a classic, uh, made even uh, to, to live forever due to Seth Rollins cashing in and becoming WWE champion there. Uh, really out of nowhere. I think that was a, one of the really great surprises in WrestleMania history. Uh, but even before that, match was great. A lot of people had some really bad, uh, really low expectations for it because I think a lot of people were hating on Roman there going into that match, but I think they knocked it out of the park and that was a classic match. WrestleMania 34, <clears throat> probably probably the weak, definitely the weaker of the two. I don't think it was a great match by any stretch, uh, but I also don't think it was horrible. I think there's a lot that goes into that match. Uh, I thought that the the ending there with Brock winning the title after it was announced that he was going to be going off to UFC, uh, that it looked like he was going to be wrapping up, rather, and, and going back to UFC, 
I thought was at least interesting to kind of see where they go from here. So uh, now they're bringing it back. And it's completely different in that Brock Lesnar is now the babyface. Roman Reigns now the heel. Obviously, they've gotten Paul Heyman away from Brock Lesnar at the Royal Rumble, like we predicted here in Watch Along Wrestling. So they have that dynamic now, the bloodline all back together. Uh, the big schmas there where uh, it looks like it was a, a ruse from the beginning. We'll have to wait till Friday, but Roman Reigns and Paul Heyman seem to be in cahoots going into the Royal Rumble, and this entire thing was, uh, you know, to screw over Brock and to get the world title away from him, and now this will be going for Roman's universal title, and again, who knows, maybe for both titles, so, I mean, it is what it is, would it have been great, in my opinion, to maybe bring something else a little different to the matches uh, at WrestleMania? Yes, uh, but I don't think that anyone can deny that this has been a storyline that people have been really into, people have been excited about. And uh, it's interesting where they go from here. I think that uh, you could you could do you can go a lot of different ways from it. How long is Brock going to be around for? Is he going to be the guy to take down Roman uh, for Roman streak? But I think that once WWE uh, got out of the match at day one, they had the match planned for day one. Obviously, Roman came down with COVID. Um, unfortunately, thank God he's okay. But I think once that happened, that was like, all right, this is their match for WrestleMania. They've been gifted this opportunity where they don't have to bring this back now until Mania. I think they probably would have even done Brock Roman 3, um, this incarnation of it, at WrestleMania if they, because uh, remember, they did it in Saudi Arabia and then they were going to do it at day one. I think th the third time would have been at WrestleMania, but certainly not having to even bring it back until WrestleMania gave them that opportunity to really, that is our main event. That's going to be one of the night's main events. I think you'll have Ronda's match on one night, and you'll have this match on another night. So we'll see where things go, uh, but a lot of fun. you got to love it. It's uh, it's WrestleMania season, a little uptick in the interest there. Even following what I did think was this relatively disappointing uh, Royal Rumble, it's great to see WWE back on the, uh, on the hype train uh, towards our, our, our big uh, destination, which will be WrestleMania. We'll be back here on Watch Along Wrestling to discuss all things, certainly what Ronda Rousey's decision will be. Uh, we'll check in at some point there, so it should be fun. But um, in any event, we will talk to you guys soon, and uh, I'll tell you to take care. I'll see you in the next video.